Today, I want to talk about creative accounting and why it matters so much to investors. But before we go on, I must remind you that under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we're not allowed to make recommendations and none of what follows should be taken as investment advice. However, if you are looking at investing in a company, bear in mind the following. Our research shows that profit changes are the key driver of long-term stock price performance. So to do well, an investor must think about forecasting those changes. The real problem becomes is if you've been misled about the present thanks to a company using creative accounting. Creative accounting is not just about fraud. Yes, fraud gets the headlines, but when you look at the numbers, companies making write-offs and taking provisions often lose investors 10 to 20 times the losses from fraud, and these provisions and write-offs are usually reversing the creative accounting from the past. We define creative accounting as the use of accounting and business techniques to construct a set of accounts that obscure the underlying business reality. Now this can stretch all the way from criminal fraud all the way through to the use of inappropriate accounting techniques and somewhat over-optimistic assumptions. It's important to recognise that management has every incentive to inflate asset values, reduce liabilities and inflate cash flows and profits. And this is only exacerbated by performance-related pay. Quite often, management will then go to quite extreme lengths to cover themselves in legalese, which is defendable, but not necessarily transparent. This supports the share price and often facilitates management's compensation. However, the problem is that in the end, reality always trumps the accounting fiction, at which point the stock price collapses and the accounts have to be rewritten. Moreover, just because an accounting treatment is auditor approved, do not assume that that is conservative, fair or reasonable. We see very little evidence that auditors actually challenge management on any of their treatments, assumptions or selective disclosure. At Bucephalus, we work hard with our clients to try and identify which companies are using creative accounting. We can then help them assess the risks and rewards and look for opportunities. In general, we find these occur best when there is a big divergence between the business reality, the accounting fiction and the market's perception of those companies. To quantify the risk of creative accounting, we test, score and rank the world's largest listed companies. You can learn more about this in our video on governance accounting and performance scores. Beyond that, if you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Alternatively, if you want to keep up to date with our research, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for your time.